Hello, it's Jennifer from Sea Lemon. First, I want to thank all of you guys for suggesting and commenting on my last video going over disc binding. It was more of a disc binding video for beginners, like an introduction that I shared based on my experience, my first experience with disc binding. I am still using that DIY notebook that I showed in that video. I love it. It has made my world so much more organized and I just really like this type of binding. So I wanted to do a little haul and show you some supplies that I got. I still have not made new covers for my notebook and they are still kind of coming off. This was my first attempt at covers for this system and I do want to make tutorials for you guys in the future on different DIY cover methods. You guys had so many good suggestions in that video for different cover methods to try and I kind of wanted to try them all. So I got some goodies to try out on my own notebook plus some extras to kind of experiment with and figure out different cover methods and make those tutorials for you guys. If you want to know more about any of the supplies that I show in this video, check the video description below. I will put all of the info down there. Again, you guys shared so much good information on that last video and I will continue to go back and look at the comments there. But if you have anything more to share, feel free to share it in the comments below. Okay, first thing I got, which I just got today, it just arrived through the mail today is this laminator and I have not tried it out yet this is my very first laminator ever it can fit paper up to nine inches wide and I guess the length is just dependent on the pouches that you get you're kind of limited to the size of laminated pouches that come for the laminator I wanted a thick laminate so that I can try some DIY covers with it and I plan on experimenting with some of my patterned paper. I honestly don't know how those are going to turn out. I've never tried anything like that before, but I think it will come out good because a lot of you have suggested this. I might try some dividers with this as well with some patterned paper maybe, I don't know yet. After reading some of the reviews online, uh, it seems like once you get a laminator, you just wanna laminate everything. So. Who knows, I might become a crazy laminator lady after this. Next, I got some placemats. Yes, placemats. These have nothing to do with disc binding, but based on some of your suggestions, I thought it was a really good idea to try these for covers and maybe some dividers. And some of you have suggested that if you go to the dollar store, you can find really thin cutting boards there, which can act as placemats and it's really inexpensive. And I got these two placemats. These were kind of the more appealing patterns that I could find. I'm going to experiment with them and I'll see how that goes. Another thing I'm going to try for DIY covers are these poly vinyl tab dividers, which already have the punched holes on them. And these really make great dividers if you have this size of notebook, but I just wanted them for the punched part. I wanted the thick polyvinyl material, which is sturdy and doesn't rip on the disc. And I'm planning on sandwiching that in between two pieces of chipboard to see if I can make a hardcover out of that and maybe wrap the chipboard in paper. I don't know if this is going to work yet. I'm going to try it out and glue it to the dividers. And they also come in top bound, I found. So I could try that as well, but since these were already small and a little bit cheaper, I'm going to experiment with these. And I do like that they came in different colors. So if I wrap my chipboard in a different color paper that kind of matches the top portion, that could look really well. I don't know, again, I don't know if this is going to work. This is all kind of in my head. Now onto some discs that I found and I'm planning on archiving my sketches and notes in my current notebook into a more archival book and I wanted some larger rings so that I can have a year's worth of pages. So I got these heart-shaped Happy Planner rings, they're expander rings, and they're one inch and three fourths. And I thought these would work well for archiving my notebook because they're a little bit larger. I thought the heart in the middle was cute and I wanted to see if they would work with the arc punch that I have. And turns out all of the rings and discs work with the different brands of punches. They're just slightly a little bit different. Like the hole will have just a little bit more room on another brand's discs, but they still work and the notebook still turns and works like a notebook should. Regardless of what brand you use, all disc binding kind of wiggles a little. 
It's kind of like a spiral bound notebook. That always wiggles a little, so you're always going to have a little bit of room around the holes no matter what. So just a little bit more doesn't really bother me. I also wanted to try these Levenger Circa discs, and they have a really cool feature which has a pen holder in the middle, and it's a really nice constructed disc. It has a little rubber thing for the pen holder. I experimented with this on my notepad here that I'm showing you. I wanted to try it on this rather than take apart my whole notebook and you can just stick your pen right through and it really does hold your pen well. Your pen isn't going anywhere if you're using these. But I will say that it is a little pricey. These rings are one and a half inch, so they're slightly smaller than the Happy Planner ones that I just showed you. This is my first Circa brand disc, and I noticed that they are slightly shaped differently. There's kind of a point at the end of them, if that makes sense, but they still work in the arc punch that I use. I'm kind of surprised that there aren't more colors and different designs of these discs available. After shopping for this system, I just didn't really see a whole lot. There's kind of like the basic colors, but this has a lot more room to have more design and just different colors available. That might be another thing I experiment with in the future. I also got some extra little goodies for my notebook, and I already have these flags that I use. I haven't gone through them all yet. There are a lot that come in this little snap-on thing that I got. I am still using them and I use them to kind of like bookmark my pages throughout my notebook and kind of act as dividers so I can find things easier. So I'm all good on little flags. Don't need any more of those. But I saw these Happy Planner snap and tabs that I thought could come in handy. They seem pretty useful for things that you don't want to punch holes in. This is just an old business card of mine and it's a really thick paper, so it's not something I would necessarily punch a hole through. If you have like pieces of inspiration that you want to stick into your notebook anywhere and be able to take them out of the notebook, that could really be useful. If you guys have been following my channel for a long time, you know that I have a lot of notebook and sketchbook tutorials and I have a lot on different closures that you can add and that's another thing I want to try on these disc bound notebooks is just like an elastic closure. I know you can find them for sale, they're usually just like bands that you can wrap around. I think that's something I can definitely DIY, so I want to try that with some different elastic. Let me know if that's something that you guys like to add to your covers as well. Also, if you guys like these haul type videos, let me know in the comments below or hit that like button so that I know that you like these. And if you are new here, make sure you're subscribed to my channel C Lemon so you don't miss any DIY videos. I would love for you to join the C subs, so make sure you're subscribed. You can jump into my last haul, which is all about different pens, right here. And if you want to see my previous disc binding tutorial, check out this video right here. And make sure you're following me on my social links. I love connecting with you guys over there. All of these links will be in the video description below, and I will see you guys next time.